what is up guys how is it going evergreen fly guy here for another video we're actually going to be doing one of my all-time favorite nips can you take a guess no all right we're going to be doing the rainbow warrior today i actually went and got the stuff specially to do it and everything's cleared out right now so i didn't get the exact stuff but i have very very close and they don't look any different. Let me pick a good one up. I've done about four already to make sure I got it down because I want to do them perfect because, like I said, they're my absolute favorite favorite nymph. There you go. That is the Rainbow Warrior. Let me show you what we're going to be using today. They have some Hot 6 red thread. And if you can get higher, I would go like an 8 or something because let me tell you, this 6 is very thin and it breaks pretty easy. Um... We have some rainbow silver tinsel. And for our flies, we are using size 14 nip flies. And these are just, um, what is that brand? I don't know. Starts with a U. I'm sure you guys know it. Um, for our bead head, we're just using some White River brand tungsten bead heads. And uh, this is a 330, 332, and they're actually like the perfect size for it because you actually got to put them on, push them on there a little bit, but they stay nice and steady up top. Um, for my dubbing, I actually didn't, couldn't, it calls for a rainbow dubbing. Couldn't find a rainbow, but I got some ice dub in olive brown that has a really nice rainbow shade to it, and it actually looks pretty good on the hook. If you couldn't tell. So we, we, you know, we have the gist of a rainbow warrior. We got it changed up a little bit. And we got some pheasant feathers here for our tail. Now I have already set up our... Sorry, I'm making sure I got a good angle on that. I've already set up our hook and our bead head. So now I'm just going to take... I'm going to put on a little thread to it. Get it dressed up looking nice and now I'm pulling this out by by rolling it instead of pulling it out by hand because as I was working earlier and discovering if you pull it out by hand this ot6 thread will snap very easy so I'm very careful not to put too much pressure on it it works very well for everything we're doing it just it's a little bit thin than I would have liked but beggars can't be choosers because everything seems to be cleared out at Bass Pro Ship and Cabela's. Because I got this stuff at Cabela's. I got some stuff at Bass Pro a couple days ago. And everything, everything has just been cleared out on all their shelves. I'm guessing they're having some sniff shipping issues. And I just ship, ugh, I just cut off my, in my little in tag there. I'm going to cover it back a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to take one of my pheasant feathers here I'm just gonna find a small one pull it off and now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take about midway here and I'm gonna rip a little chunk of it off not much the tails pretty small I've ripped that off bond bundle it up as best I can here it might be a little so I'm gonna put it down right here Twist up my, my line here so it kind of jumps up and grabs it. So I'm not fighting these feathers too much because they're so small it's hard to hard to get back in there in that in that nymph shank and get it on there, but you need your tail sticking out as much as possible. Let me work this back down. There we go, back down. See? Missed her again. Oh there we go. I think I got it that time. Ugh, nope. All right. Gotta grab another chunk. That seems to be my biggest issue right now. And I'm not gonna edit this out because I want people to see it. Is this where I'm struggling? Is uh, keeping that little bundle of fibers together and getting it on the hook shank. That's the. That's actually the hardest part to me on this fly. Other than that, it's been incredibly, incredibly fun, incredibly simple. And you know it's awesome because I love this. Like I said, this is my my absolute all-time favorite nymph 
And you know what? I probably don't even catch, <laughs> probably don't catch as much as I do other nymphs off of it. I just really enjoy the pattern. I think it's a fun, cool pattern. And I like it. All right, I got my tail in there. All nice. I rolled my thread back up to the top here. Now I'm going to take the uh, tinsel I showed you guys earlier. I already got a strip cut out here, I believe. Well, I thought I did. Got a bunch of little pieces, but no, I swore I cut off a piece. Oh, that's fine. I'll cut off another piece. Got plenty of it. So I'm just cutting out one that's probably about five, that's about four inches. And in all actuality, you really don't need one that big, but you're gonna be doing some wrapping, so it does help to have extra. And now this is just coming, oh, I dropped my end. This is just coming right behind your bead head up here. And you're just gonna tie it on just pinch it down like that all right now you're just coming down the hook shank tying it on here covering it this also helps to tie in get stuff tighter get to move that out of the way roll down my thread like I said I don't want to pull on this this thin thread too hard killing me just trying to get behind it as best I can cover that up there roll some more out stay back there oh, gosh. And I'm gonna get right down in here and get it all tucked back right like it needs to be now I'm gonna take it back up to the top and roll it out once more so we're gonna do something with them in a second. All right, now we have our tinsel. You're gonna take your tinsel and you're gonna wrap it around your body. And I keep gonna keep my finger on the other side of the fly there to hold it and keep it tight as I'm wrapping, because if you see, it can get away from you real quick. Especially because it's all loopy and stuff like this. So best to keep a lot of tension with the tinsel it's not like this thread and it's not going to snap very easy it's going to stretch and actually probably we make it a little bit easier to deal with <laughs> so we're just coming around here i take it around the head of the bead an extra time and make it tying in a little bit easier and you're just tying it in with your thread Nice little build up right there. Now you're not going to snip this. You're just going to tuck it back once more out of the way here. All right. Now comes the dubbing. I'm going to take this ice olive dubbing I've got. And I'm not going to take much because a little bit goes a long way with this dubbing is what I've noticed. And I'm going to just twist it onto my line here. Get a hair more. <laughs> it's got a hair on the package, isn't that funny? Oop, I dropped some. That's funny. All right, twist it up real good. Make sure it's all where it needs to be. And I'm gonna wrap it on. Just wrap it around real tight. Keep it real tight. That is probably plenty, so I'm gonna take this right here and peel it back off. And go around it, get it a little bit more compact. Now I'm gonna take this tag that I had from my my uh, my ribbon here, and I'm gonna pull it to the end of the bead head. And now I am gonna get that tag and I'm gonna tie it in to the top of the bead head there which I just did. 
and uh, you can go ahead and cut that tag right there get it out of the way so you can see I'm gonna trim back some of this wild dubbing being very careful I don't touch my my string all right let's trim back a little bit now I'm going to roll out my string take my whip finish tool load it up here get my space put it on I'm gonna go probably three three times should be perfect drop it out push it up got my take my line I'm gonna cut my line here and I see some more on this I'd like to trim up so I'm gonna do just that All right, we're looking good right now. Okay. Now we're just gonna take our, I got my UV glue here. I'm actually using the thick, because I tried the thick out. I've been, I had been using the thin. I tried the thick out when I started doing my salmon. Not salmon, sorry, steelhead flies. And it will seem to work better, so I'm just kind of using it on everything at this point, because I'm like, well, if it works, it works better. It seems like it's working better. So I got that on there. I hit it with my UV light. I still haven't figured out how long you really need to be doing that for. But I generally like to let it rest right here. Uh, I still see some stuff I'd like to trim. of a perfectionist when it comes to the dubbing I don't like it being too wild but um yeah there you have it there is our rainbow warrior nymph a little bit different there's another one I did it's a little bit better I kind of left the the dubbing a little more frayed on that one kind of a bigger presentation a little bit but yeah, these have been coming out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Very nice little nips. Like I said, all-time favorite nip. Might not be the one I've caught the most fish on, but it's still still my favorite, still dear to my heart. I really, uh, I had planned on doing some more steelhead flies, and I'm still gonna. I'm gonna probably do some more of those tomorrow. And so you can look forward to that in the next couple days coming. I have two more patterns I think for the steelhead two or three more patterns I don't remember if I did three or four patterns if I got the stuff for three or four patterns and then I, I just this was like a spur of the moment thing I was like I saw a, I saw a thing about rainbow warriors and I was like dang I want to do a rainbow warrior and those uh the streamers I was doing the mylar motos kind of gave me a like a <laughs> a rainbow warrior vibe to a streamer and I was like that's that's cool so, yes, I have a lot of different flies coming lately. Um, the series is actually, I've been doing way more than I thought just because it's been so, the weather's been so bad. I don't, you could probably hear the rain in the background. It's, it's just been so heavy and there's been, I've been trapped in here on my uh, holiday break. So it's just been a lot of fly time. But I've been picking up a lot very quick and I, I really enjoy it. So, um, yeah, check that out. Um unboxing video I have a, another kit coming this Wednesday all things permitting and I will do an unboxing video then probably have it up Thursday or Friday and uh, my Instagram gets unbanned Tuesday so that's very exciting so I'll be back on there doing a lot so go ahead and go follow if you haven't followed on there please because I do a lot of stuff on my Instagram well obviously I'm on YouTube a lot now but that's gonna be the quickest way because I post on their upcoming videos before I, I actually like have them on YouTube so thanks for watching don't forget if you enjoyed the video like subscribe I hope it helps you tie one I hope you and just enjoy me doing it maybe my commentary is soothing for you or something um, 
yeah, just get out there, and I hope you guys catch some fish. Thanks for watching.